Now, if you joined us a little bit late today, uh, you missed, well, it was a quite extraordinary story, which we are going to come back to. We spoke to a man known as the Dream Detective. He's just returned from rigorous tests at the University of Arizona and with security officials in Washington, where scientists have conclusively stated that he can, without question, dream the future. He sees major incidents that later come true. The evidence is overwhelming, and quite frankly, it's really scary. And this is just one example. In 1993, Chris Robinson dreamt that there would be a mid-air collision at the Fairford Air Show. He was so concerned that he drove there and tried to warn police, but he was too late to stop that happening. Well, last night we asked Christopher to uh, dream of a secret location to which, without his knowledge, we sent him earlier on in the show. Now, this morning he wrote down the substance of his dream and he put it into this envelope which we signed earlier on the back to prove that the seal hasn't been opened and we haven't seen yet at all. Now, blindfolded, Christopher is at the location now. Hello, Christopher. Our researcher Polly's with him. Hello. Hello. Hello, uh, yes. Right, OK, I haven't, I haven't opened the envelope now, but I'm about to, OK? Here we go. OK. Right. Right. OK. Last night I dreamt... Hospital, paddle, river, jetty, wooden poles, water, water, tr water train, train, uh, a large, a large note. He means like money. He's drawn money. a dollar sign. Large note. Go on. Large note. Um, I could be going to a hospital or bridge, with cars, etc., and windows in it. Windows in the hospital or bridge. And he's actually drawn this structure with windows. There Come you are there. there. This structure there, structure windows, and he says there, as you can see, boats, but only one eh? boat. Well, uh, well, it's unbelievable. Um, you are, I think, well, let's take, turn, turn him around, Polly, so he can see what, what, what he drew. Well, take his, take his... Well, uh, turn him around and then take I've his... I've still got a blindfold. Yeah, I know, I know. Turn him around. <laughs> we know, we can see, don't worry. And take off your blindfold. OK. More or less what you saw. Uh, that's yeah. a bridge with windows in it. It is a bridge it with is. windows in it, and there's a huge boat next to it, because yes. that's where HMS Belfast is moored. It's it, is, it is right. Tower Bridge. Oh, well, I was ex yes, I was expecting to be by the river, and the hospital I'm probably is um, Guy's Hospital, which is the next bridge down. And the symbol for money, of course, the Royal Mint is just adjacent to, uh, to the bridge. Oh, well, I don't know about that, so I... Yeah. Well, that's just extraordinary. You've, I mean, you've done it again. You see, we could have taken you anywhere. We could have taken you to St Paul's Cathedral. Yeah, you or... could have taken me to a tube station. Yeah. We could have taken you to a shop anywhere. Or, or London yeah. Zoo. Yes, anywhere. I want to stress yes. this. He's, he, said it, he said it was a bridge. He said it was a, a bridge structure with, or possibly a hospital. Next to the river. Next to the river. The bridge had windows. There was, there was only I one big I can see boat. Guy's Hospital if you take that camera. Go on, then spin it around. There is Guy's Hospital. Good grief. Good grief. Great. I had a heart operation there in 1960. Stop. That You're is extraordinary. All right, Chris, thank you very much indeed. Will you come... Congratulations. Can we, make, can we make arrangements to have you back on the show in the next day or so? Yes, whenever you like, sir. All right. You, we'll see you on, and we'll have some experts here as well, because this is quite extraordinary. And Mo Molan's with us now. What do you make of that, Mo? Amazing. It's Absolutely. I wish I'd met him before Northern Ireland. <laughs> Say again, sorry. I wish I'd met him before I went into Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> he well, would have been invaluable. I joked about that earlier. <laughs> he is extraordinary. I... You're looking great. Thank you, you very much. You look really, really well. So um, do you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mutual admiration he society. Look bad. From time to time. What? I'm not saying... <laughs> no, sorry, I'm still blown away by that, that extraordinary thing. I was anyway, let's talk.